Good afternoon learners. Today I want to take you through mathematics and before that we would like to take this opportunity to wish you well and also safe staying at home during this COVID-19 pandemic. So our lesson today will tackle measurement and on the measurement we want to talk about surface area of a cuboid. What is a cuboid? If I want to take you back to class 6 where you are taught about the areas and also perimeters of figures you are told about a figure like this. This figure here is called a rectangle. So rectangle has the length and the width. And now that you are told about area, that if you want to get the area, you are supposed to get the space, not the line. Therefore, for us to get the area of this rectangle, it means we are going to multiply length and the width. So, this one is a rectangle, but if you have faces like this, six of them, or five of them, joined together at the edge, they will give you a diagram called a cuboid. So, what is a cuboid? A cuboid is a figure, a diagram like this, with length, and it has width and it also has the height. Length, width, height. So a figure like this is called three-dimension figure. So on a three-dimension figure, if you want to get the area of every part, you are going to get the area of this part, the area of that part, the other part, and the, and the, the other one. When we combine all these areas together, therefore we call it surface area. Therefore, getting the surface area of a cuboid means getting the area of all the surfaces, then put them together to form one thing. Therefore, I would like to bring you here. This one here is our first cuboid. It is called a closed cuboid. A closed cuboid. Closed cuboid. So a closed cuboid is that cuboid with six faces all together. Just the same as you are locker there. A figure, a diagram with six faces. So for example, if you look at this diagram here, it has this upper face, another one down there. So the upper face, I have named it face one then this other slanting face I have named it face two then this other slanting face I have named it face three so you can see that in all the faces there are two so just like this one face one is up here there's another face down here so if I want to get the area of face one then I will say area there is equals to area of phase 1 is going to give me length times width and because phase 1 I have two of them this upper one and the downer one then I'm going to multiply by 2 then I go to phase 2 phase 2 is this phase here this slanting one this one here so this phase 2 I will have this length times this width but remember there are two of them therefore I will say length times width for phase 2 but because there are two I multiply by 2 then we come to phase 3 phase 3 as you can see is this one here so phase 3 
to get the area of phase 3, I'm going to multiply length by width, but we have another one there. So, phase 3 will also be length by width multiplied by 2. So, if you put all this together, will give us the formula for getting the area of a closed cube point. Therefore, let's work out this. Example number one. Example number one is this figure here. If this is our figure. We have 10 down here. Then on the width we have 6 cm. And then the height we have 8 cm. So we start with the first one, which is phase 1. So phase 1, we are going to have the length of phase 1, which is 10 cm, by the width of phase 1. 10 by the width of this one, which is 6 centimeters. Then we multiply by 2. So that one is going to give us 10 by 6, that is 16, multiplied by 2, 120 squared centimeters. Then phase 2 here, this part here will be phase 2. So we have length of 8 by width of 6. So 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters then we multiply by 2 because of the other one we are going to get 48 8 by 6 is 48 so when we multiply by 2 we get 96 squared centimeter then the final one that is phase 3 this one here that one will be phase 3 is going to be its length which is 10 centimeters by its width, which is 8 centimeters. So when you get the product of these two, then multiply by 2, 10 by 8 is 80, by 2 will give you 160 centimeters. So if you want to get the area of this closed cuboid, we are going to add first one, and there are two, so that will give you 120 by 160 plus another 96, that will give you 6, that one will give you 7, number 1, 3. Therefore, this figure here, the area will be 376 squared centimeters. That will give you the area of this closed cuboid. Let's look at number, example number 2. Example number two. An open cuboid. An open cuboid. So an open cuboid. Like this one. In our number two here. This part here is 14 centimeters. Then this width is 7 centimeters. Then the height is 9 centimeters. But remember, in this our case, an open cuboid, the upper part is not there. The upper part is not there. We only have the bottom part. Therefore, we only have the five faces. To get the area. So the first case means this part here we are not going to get its area. Therefore in phase one we are only going to get one face. Then in phase two there are two and then in phase three there are also two. So when we start with phase one. So phase one will be length which is 14 centimeter by 7 cm and because it is open just multiply by 1 because the other part is not there it's open 
so that means we are going to get 14 by 7 14 by 7 that will give you 28 that one will give you 98 so here we are going to have 98 squared centimeter then we go to phase 2 phase 2 will be length which is 9 centimeter by the width which is 7 centimeter but remember now there are two here this side and the other side so 9 by 7 will give you 63 <coughs> then 63 by 2 126 squared centimeter then you go to phase 3 phase 3 will be this one here now so we have 14 centimeter by 9 centimeter and of course there are also 2 so 14 centimeter by 9 centimeter 14 by 9 36 that one is 126 so 126 by 2 will give you 2 5 2 so the area here will be 252 squared centimeter therefore we put them together so 252 plus 126 plus 98 so here we have 16 we carry 1 10 we have 7 we carry 1 then we have 4 so our total area there will be 476 <coughs> squared centimeter this one now is going to give us the area of an open cuboid what we need to know is not to mix in an open the other part is not there while in a closed all the six cases are present last but not least make us to teacher before you continue your question uh -huh. uh, in phase two yeah you say that we multiply 14 by 9 mm. where did you get 9 that you are multiplying with in phase two yes this one here no the, the other one the this lower one. one yes this part here is 9 mm -hmm. this is 9 this one is also 9 so phase 3 will be this one mm -hmm. 14 by 9 thank you so 14 by 9 and there are 2 the other one is on the other side therefore 14 by 9 then multiply by 2 because of the one on the other side all right all right you? thank you now good the third one the third example example three it's about now a cube boy a cube now Good. Example three now is now when you have squares, six of them put together or five. So like this one is a closed cube. So closed cube. It has six sides. But remember in a cube a cube is derived from a square and you say a square all the sides are equal that means in a cube also all the sides are equal so for example let's say one side is six so if this side is six centimeter therefore this one is also going to be six centimeter six centimeter six centimeter six centimeter 
the six centimeter. So how can we get the surface area of a closed cube? If you get from that information that we got, we got from the cuboid, it's still the same because they form what we call the rectangles. So here we need to get only one side, on only one face of the of the cube. Let's say this face here. If you get this face here of the cube, you are going to get this side by that side. So a cube, the area will be side by side. And because it's closed, the sides are six. Then you multiply by six. Therefore, if you have area here to be this side, which is six centimeters by the other side, which is 6 centimeters, that will give you one face, and because there are 6 faces, you multiply by 6. So therefore we are going to get, 6 by 6 will give you 36, then you multiply by 6, 36, that one is 8, plus 3, 1. Therefore, our surface area of this will be 200, and 16 squared centimeters. That's for a closed cube. What about an open cube? An open cube would be An open cube will be, let's say it's open, therefore this part is not there. So let's say if I have this part to be 5 centimeters, this one will be 5 centimeters, this one is also going to be 5 centimeters. So in this case, I only need to get one face of the cube, only one face. So let's get this face only. It is going to be side by side this is the area for a square so side by side is only one face and because now this is an open cube it has only five faces therefore we are going to multiply by five so area is going to be five centimeter by five centimeter this one is going to give us one face then after that, you multiply by 5 because an open cube has 5 faces. So you get 5 by 5, you get 25. So 25 by 5 will give you 125 squared centimeters. So this one will give you the surface area of an open cube.